Charlie Apple, you've got three horses entered for the Investec Derby this year. We'll start with Line of Duty, very high class colt, obviously having won in a Group 3 in France and then the Breeders' Cup, Juvenile Turf. Um, how was he this year? Yeah, all has gone well. He, he wintered out in Dubai there um, and uh, no, we, we, he was under consideration for the Guineas, but we just felt that the, the Dante was the right race for him to start his three year old career off. And um, yeah, all preparations are going well and uh, we look forward to next week. And he's yet to run beyond a mile one, but you think he'd probably improve for a step up and trip? I do. Uh, just uh, as the individual himself, uh, I feel he's always stronger. You know, the, the last two furlongs of his race, he, he, he gets into his, he comes into the race sort of behind the bridle and, 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 and finishes off strongly. So um, on pedigree, um, you, you can take it into account that I feel that, again, the step up and trip's going to suit. And ground, does he have a dependency on a particular type of ground? So far, he's been quite versatile, but I'd say it's sound surface, and it's like a lot of so you don't, you know, you never want to see these classics really run on soft ground anyway. It just becomes a bit of a slog. But um, yeah, as long as it's decent ground there, you know, there'd be no complaints from I'm sure most people. Yeah. And is his run in the Derby dependent entirely on the Dandy performance, or are you kind of all set to go? It depends on the dandy performance. Yeah, I mean, if he's also at the back of the TV, as they say, in, in the Dandy, you'd have to be, you know, the, the Derby comes up, you know, soon enough after that. Um, race that you, you, if you run poorly you'd, you'd be yeah, a bit concerned anyway but um, the signs are all good that uh, yeah, we'll be running a big race there in the Dante and you know, first free finish in the Dante and we'll be heading on to Epsom Excellent. And on to your, another of your derby entries Al Hillali, uh, he ran in the Guineas perhaps a little bit disappointing, what were your thoughts immediately after the race? Yes he was you know, a bit disappointing I have to say but to be fair we pretty much knew our fate after the first two furlongs um, there was he had to be up on the pace uh, in an ideal world. Um, he was a sl he was a bit slow from the gate there, uh, and William, you know, as much as I was watching it, we felt that was we were out of the race. William just said himself. He said after the first going from the two to the three, he said I was just doing. He was just doing it the wrong way around, and it just never got was never comfortable. Um, he's come out of the race well, um, so we'll. Um, we we'll potentially go to Newmarket uh, for the fairway stakes, which is which is an old Derby trial uh, as well. Um, so I'm far from saying he's a, he's a Derby horse, but it, you know we're stepping up in trip, which is what he is definitely crying out for, um, and, and and see whether we can get him back on winning ways and and then sort of regroup from there on. Okay, so so dependent on the next run really as to where he goes next, really. That's correct. Yes. Okay. Excellent. And Space Blues, he's the third of your horses entered for the Derby. Great run last time, in fairness, albeit beaten favourite, which is always frustrating. Um, do you think he'll go to the Derby, or is he is he good enough to play a role? Do you think? And whether he's good enough, it, I, it, the horse has got. I feel he's got a, a a decent engine there, but the trips come all the wrong way. He, he he's dropping back in trip rather than going up. Yeah. Right. Uh, he for me now. We've learned this spring that uh, he, he won't get beyond the mile. So um, no, we'll be coming. We'll be sticking to the mile seven furlong races. So uh, no, he's out of the uh, the Derby picture simply for that because of that reason. Okay. And any anywhere in particular you have in mind for him? Uh, we're going to look at Goodwood towards the end of this month. There's a seven furlong three year old handicap there for him. Um, so we'll, we'll probably look look at that and and then obviously potentially a crack at something like maybe the Britannia. Okay. Um, and more generally on the Derby, obviously you won it last year with Massar. In terms of your approach to training a horse for that race, does it differ from any other race or any other festival? Not really. I mean, any of these festival meetings, uh, you, you're talking with a different calibre of horse, that, you know, to, 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 to your sort of day-to-day -day racing and, and therefore um, you don't go into a festival meeting, more, more importantly, you don't go into a Derby sort of needing a run. Um, so, uh, you know, you, you, you need to have ticked a lot of the boxes and... Um, so there's a there's a program in place for for all of our horses that um, going into the, the the bigger meetings you you want to see them hit those targets and and uh, as long as they're doing that in the right fashion then you're confident and and and, and hopeful that you're, you're going to be pitching up there with the right horse that's yeah done done everything that's been asked of him to perform at that level. Okay. And obviously the experience of Massar has now taught you what you need, what, you know, what a horse needs to win a derby. Are any of those, particularly Line of Duty of course, kind of showing you the same sort of signs? Well, I think Line of Duty is a horse that on his two-year-old career you, you, you could sort of you know, marry up the same as, as Massar. He was a Group 3 winner in Europe and then he went on to, you know, if anything, Line of Duty on, on, strictly on his two-year-old form is a, is a better horse. You know, he went on to go and win a, a Breeders' Cup juvenile. Massar was very unlucky in his 
two-year-old career when he participated in the, the, the British Cup Juvenile there around Delmar. It just didn't happen that day, unfortunately. He met, got trouble in running and, and uh, it, I say it didn't happen, but um, we still were very confident that he was going to be a bright three-year-old in just uh, the way he finished the race off that uh, year in America.